This is a docking station with KVM built-in, which will allow us to control two computers at the same time with two displays up to 4K at 60Hz while using only one keyboard and one mouse. It supports up to 10 gigabit speeds on the USB ports and it's designed for setups with one desktop and one laptop and it will only require one cable to the laptop which will be used for data and also for image and of course power delivery. Now I also have two docking stations here without KVM which we have seen in the past links down below. They have some similarities and some advantages and disadvantages compared with this KVM docking station which we will cover towards the end. Now in terms of the unboxing experience inside the package we will find this KVM docking station of course along all the accessories including the HDMI cables, USB Type-C cables and a manual. It's really well built. It's not the first time that we have seen really well built units. This one is all a piece, a single piece of brushed aluminium. Here on the front and back panel they are glossy. It looks really nice. Actually I prefer the back panel than the front panel. I wish that it was the other way around. The only downside here is that we will have some fingerprints if we touch but if we clean it and then put it on where it belongs we will be just fine. So in terms of build quality great and then it has this grills right over here. Imitation of grills that look really nice. Actually looks a lot better than the pictures that I've seen on the website so that was a good surprise. In terms of connectivity it's really easy. Now I did put it on my setup at the back and I use the laptop which is PC number two connected via one single cable with one optional cable which in my opinion it's totally worth it to connect the power input up to 100 watts and this is more than most laptops require. On the other hand I had the desktop PC which is PC number one and I connected two HDMI cables on the HDMI ports here. We can use 4K up to 60 Hz and I also connected one USB Type-C cable on the desktop to the docking station so that we can have data sharing at speeds up to 10 gigabit. Then we can connect all kind of peripherals like a mouse or keyboard which I did connect on one of the USB 2.0 ports and the docking station also has two USB type A ports and one USB type C port with 10 gigabit speed which we will be testing in just a few moments and also a audio output jack. And on this setup we have the docking station KVM connected to this laptop tablet. This is an hybrid we have seen on the channel so if you haven't I will try to leave a link down below and we are also connected to this this desktop which is a mini PC. Now you can use a full-fledged desktop which you can put under your desk with cables it will be the same but here to show you off it's better to use this kind of computer. Now I do have a uh, mobile connected here which is charging up to 7.5 watts on one of these ports. Here we can charge up to 15 watts. We have also audio output. I've got a keyboard and mouse connected via USB and we still have another USB free to use right over here. Now one of the ways that we can change computer and before we change let me just show you that I'm using two displays 4k at 60 hertz with this tablet right over here so we have three screens in this particular case. We can use any laptop that we have with USB Type-C or Thunderbolt no issues whatsoever. I've been playing around with a few videos and a few games no issues so far on this kind of setup. So 4k right over here on these two displays and on the tablet the resolution is the native to 1880 by 1920 which is a different aspect ratio but if I want to change everything to the other computer I can press this button here this is more or less like a remote which is nice but I was expecting that this is a power button and it's not this is a switch button so this in my opinion is a bit redundant of course I can use this and route the cable and put it anywhere else and if I purchase an extension probably I can put it somewhere else else here near the desk or something like that but in my opinion clicking here or clicking here it's more or less the same. So you decide if you want to have this cable here. Talking about cables we have a lot here and I'm using the docking station here but if this was a real situation I would put it on the back and this cable would not be here and all those cables there would be hidden as well. So just have this in mind that we are trying to show here the possibilities of this docking station KVM. Now one of the things that I want to show you is that if we change computer everything that we have connected like the SSD will change 
launch computer. So this SSD that we have reviewed a few weeks ago, this is the iFro, it supports 10 gigabit as well. If I select the other computer, we just changed now, we will see that it will take about one second or two, and there we go. We have the SSD right over here, so I can have access to the content here. And I also have access to the phone. So if I want to transfer files from the phone, I can do that as well. And at this moment connected to this computer, but once we press, we can see that the phone will disconnect from one and connect to the other one. And there we go. We have the SSD right over here, ready to be used as we want to transfer files between computers or whatever. Let's go and do a speed test. So let's select the target drive, which is the IFRO, the SSD. Let's select and let's press start. So we are reaching about 870 megabytes per second on writes, which is more or less 10 gigabit, almost reaching the 10 gigabit and 920. Yeah, this is 10 gigabit speed that we are reaching. So if we want to transfer files really quickly from our SSD to our computer or vice versa, we will be able to do so. This docking station will not support extended mode on Mac. So this is one of the limitations that we have found. And other than that, it works great. 4K at 60 Hertz right over here on this computer. And with just a single press of a button without changing any of my accessories, we can go and have another computer working on the same displays with the same accessories. And this is also a great alternative for more expensive solutions. This is something that I usually use. I've got uh, up to four devices connected via Bluetooth right over here. So I will need to change every time that I change device. And on this mouse, I can go up to three devices via Bluetooth. With this docking station, the advantage is that I can use any mouse, any keyboard, as long as it's USB, we will be fine and we will not need these more expensive solutions which is also an advantage of this KVM docking station and if you are watching this video on your Windows 10 or 11 computer and you still haven't activated and can't even edit your desktop icons don't forget to check out cdksales.com where we can find budget official OEM keys at an affordable price and with the coupon code that you can see on screen and down below on the video description it will get even cheaper for setups with two computers as we just have seen a desktop and a laptop this is awesome especially if we are using Windows or Linux for Mac OS the limitation is that we will only be able to use one display in duplicated mode or two displays in duplicated mode no extended display. Now, the docking stations that I've been using on my Macs, this one I used to use on the Mac Mini with M1, which was great for that particular case with storage and all the connectivity there. And what I used to do is one HDMI cable directly to one display and the other HDMI cable coming out of the docking station to the second display and that worked great for months. Now I'm testing out the M4, M4 Pro against the M1 Max and M1 and I'm using this docking station here from the same brand actually and it works great. The only downside is that to have all the peripherals that I'm testing with these machines I will have to disconnect one cable from my Mac Mini M4 and connect that cable to another Mac that I'm testing. So that is the downside of this temporary setup because once I do decide which Mac will stay on that setup right over there I will just have one single cable and this docking station will do a great job for that. So this is the biggest advantage of these two docking stations without any KVM is that I will be able to handle one Mac and two displays without any issues whatsoever. Actually, I can have more displays, but just one output from each of the docking stations. On the other hand, if we are looking for a system based on Windows, then this is great if we want to connect, for example, our desktop and later on we want to use our laptop as well. This will be future proof because when we have the laptop or the other way around, we just need to connect the cable and that is it. So the experience was great to be 100% Perfect. The only thing that we would require is to work with Mac, which at this moment, unfortunately, not possible. That being said, hope that the video was helpful. And if it was, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you on the next one.